don't buy Radeon GPUs. That is what I'm gonna be forced to say every time somebody asks me what's the best graphics card to buy right now, unless AMD reverts their insanely, insanely anti-consumer stance around the RX 6000 series and 5000 series graphics cards. And yes, I read their statement that they clarified on Friday. It ain't good enough. We're gonna talk about why. Welcome back to PC Builder. I'm Jason and I'm absolutely fuming right now. I think I scared Mr. Bear a couple of times already. And I wanna to talk to you, this is gonna be a little bit different kind of video. We're gonna talk just very bluntly about how terrible AMD's statement is, that they are abandoning their consumers, and what's the future for the brand, and what do they have to do, basically, to get back into our good graces? So if you're not familiar with what's going on, here it is, basically. AMD released a driver package uh, later in the week, and a lot of outlets noticed, hey, you made this kind of small statement in there that the 5,000, 6,000 series were being moved to maintenance mode. It wasn't really clear what that was, so they reached out and here's Tom's Hardware's article. I'll leave this link down in the video description, of course. Here's what AMD initially said. And yes, we're gonna go through their updated statement and that's not good enough either. In order to focus on optimizing blah, 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 new blah, 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 BS reasons, we are basically moving RX 5000 series and RX 6000 series graphics cards, RDNA 1 and RDNA 2 into maintenance mode. You're like, what maintenance mode? What does that mean exactly? Basically they said, while the company says that it's RDNA 1 and RDNA 2 graphics card will continue to receive critical security updates and bug fixes, new features, new features like the latest Battlefield 6 update are reserved for Radeon RX 7000 and 9000 series in the latest driver package. That is absolutely insane. But before I explode, let's just, let's go. People got ex very upset. Hardware unboxed, Danny Owen. A lot of people did videos around this. A lot of people have been talking about it. A lot of people have been blasting them. So AMD naturally went into kind of defensive mode and they released this statement. They're saying new features, bug fixes, and game optimizations will continue to be delivered as required by market needs. By market needs, what exactly does that mean in maintenance mode branch to its RDNA 1 and RDNA 2 based GPUs following community pushback? AMD had previously said they would only receive those updates for critical security and bug fixes. Now here's the thing, why can't they just come out and say new features, bug fixes, and game optimizations will continue to be delivered, period? Because that is honestly what they need to say. Now listen, listen. It's one thing to say, hey, the 6,000 series cards, they don't have the same hardware as the 7,000 and 9,000 series cards. So like this new feature that we're rolling out to the 9,000 series cards, like FSR4, for instance, the 6,000 series just really aren't capable of it. And it's not really, we can't really build a bridge to it. I think most people would understand that, but we're talking about game optimizations. Game optimizations are like as old as gaming GPUs themselves. You should be able to continue to deliver game optimizations for quite a while. And I'm sure some people are like, Jason, 6,000 series, when did that come out? Aren't those like really old cards? No, they're not. Let's go through. I put together a whole spreadsheet here because I was so PO'd this morning. Check this out. This is the release date and I particularly want to pay attention to the refresh series, like the 6950XT, 6750XT, and 6650XT. But let's start at the beginning. They came out December 8, 2020, with the, the beginning of their RDNA 2 lineup. And that is where we got the 6900XT, the 6800XT, and some several other cards out there. Like Later on, we would get the 6700XT, and the 6600XT, and 6600. Then AMD refreshed that lineup in May 10th, 2022, with the X50 series. We already had always had trouble saying exactly what that was. It's kind of a generic thing. But in particular, the 6950XT was released on May 10th, 2022. I calculated the number of years of full driver support outside of maintenance mode. It's less than three and a half years. And the launch price was $1,100. What in the, what the F is going on out there? When somebody's plunking down $1,100 and then their card's gonna get plunked into maintenance mode less than three and a half years later. Now, AMD coming back saying, as required by market needs, we'll give them that stuff. Honestly, not good enough. I mean, these GPUs are not that old. And if you look at how they market them at the time, this is a tweet from the launch on May 10th, 2022. You can see that down at the bottom. Here's AMD Radeon. Let's actually scroll up so you can see that. This is the AMD Radeon account on Twitter said, oh, look at the new 6000 series, 6950XT, 6750XT, 6650XT. These new graphics cards bring optimized performance for responsiveness and high refresh gaming, blah, 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 blah. Optimized performance. So they are essentially marketing these GPUs based on optimizations. Optimizations like what? Here's a tweet from them from 
basically a week later, May 18, 2022, also heralding the launch of the 6950XT, 6750XT, and 6650XT, and specific game optimizations for Halo Infinite. This is what they're supposed to do. New games come out, they have they work with game developers ahead of time and they do these specific game optimization. We've come to rely on that both from AMD and from NVIDIA, obviously. Intel's also been doing this. Master your game with the updated AMD Radeon 6000 series with optimizations, optimizations and increased performance. Mr. Bear's getting very mad at me because I'm raising my voice here. And increased performance for gaming at maximum settings. Like if you market something like this, then you have to deliver. And in fact, this is not just a good faith thing, right? Like, well, let's talk about the good faith. Basically, how long would a card like this, how long am I, if I bought this today, 9070XE just came out, am I only expecting to get two and a half, maybe three and a half years of use, useful life of this card to get game optimizations? Because honestly, what is a gaming GPU without game optimizations? What is a gaming GPU without game optimizations? So how long AMD should this card last? Do I need to worry about that? If, if so, maybe I should tell people to buy this card instead, right? $150 more, that's kind of a lot of money, but if I'm only gonna get half the useful life as I will with this, what was Pascal, nine years? If I'm only gonna get one third the life out of this card, essentially, as I am this card, this becomes hands down the clear winner. So this is AMD, you, you're gonna have to do better. You absolutely need to go back and reassure your customers that they are gonna get full support for a long enough period of time. I'd say five to eight years minimum. I, I Honestly, I'd probably be closer to eight years. I'm just trying to make this up off the top of my head. Let me know down in the comments what you think, how long should they be supporting these games? Now, of course, now I do wanna talk about some of the reactions I'm seeing to AMD statement out, out there. And I wanna know what you all think out there because this is really kind of shaking me. AMD clarifies that RDNA 1 and RDNA 2 will still get day, day zero game support and driver updates. Discrete GPUs and handhelds will still work for future games. That's how a lot of people are interpreting this. And honestly, I'm not reading the same thing into this as they are. To me, that doesn't say that they're gonna get day zero. It seems to say that they maybe won't get them as often as this GPU here. To me, that's complete BS. Again, we're talking about cards that are less than three and a half years out of their launch window and probably no more than you know two, maybe three years old at tops, at tops for most of you who bought them out there. I know some people were still buying 6,000 series cards last fall because they were on sale. And it just is totally insane that they would spend $350 to $400 on an RX 6800 16 gigabyte, which is one of the cards that we recommended, and AMD would cut support so soon. None of us knew that. And I do want to speak to, I, I do want to speak to folks about the recommendations. Now, I've recommended these cards to the audience out there with the understanding that AMD would continue to support these GPUs as it has in previous years or at least somewhat similar to what NVIDIA has done. And I feel like if they're not gonna do that, that is a major breach of trust. What needs to happen? Number one, AMD needs to go back to the statement that they gave Tom's hardware, which let's just jump back, right back into that. And they basically need to just have this sentence here, new features, bug fixes, and game optimizations will continue to be delivered, as, continue to be delivered, period. That's it. Get rid of as required by market needs and maintenance. Anytime the 7,000 or 9,000 series get game optimizations, shows to the 6,000 and frankly, the 5,000 series too. Obviously this is all gonna come down to what AMD does. We'll keep you updated on what we hear. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this, by the way. What do you think about AMD's response? Do you think AMD has backtracked already? I'm open to different ideas on this. It's just kind of hard to read what they're saying right now. Really hope we get some clarification and some additional assurance to their customers that the GPUs that they bought are gonna be usable past a couple years. Thanks for joining me on this video. Give it a like if you like this video and we will catch you on the next one.